August 6th, today's scripture. In the same way, was not also Rahab the prostitute justified by works when she received the messengers and sent them out by another way? James 2, verse 25, the English Standard Version. Today's guide. When preparing for today, think about the following. Empowering redemption through faith. Food for thought. In today's scripture, the story of Rahab, a former prostitute, serves as a reminder of empowerment and redemption. Her actions demonstrate that true justification comes not just from belief, but from the transformative power of our works. Rahab's story teaches us profound lessons that can be applied in every season of our lives, empowering us to overcome challenges and embrace our own redemption. Rahab teaches us that our past does not define our future. Regardless of our background, mistakes, or societal labels, we have the potential to change the course of our lives. Rehab's transformation began with a courageous decision to shelter and protect the messengers of God, even at great personal risk. Her faith in something greater than her past propelled her toward a new purpose. This reminds us that no matter what we've been through, we can make a positive impact in the world through our actions. Rahab's story highlights the importance of seizing opportunities to do good. She could have easily turned away the messengers, but her empathy and compassion drove her to help them escape safely. It's a reminder that we too can be justified by our actions when we choose to embrace acts of kindness and stand up for what is right, even if it means going against the norm. Each day presents opportunities for us to extend a helping hand, offer a kind word, or support those in need. These small acts of goodness accumulate to create a profound impact on both our lives and the lives of others. Rahab's faith and actions inspire us to trust in divine guidance and purpose. She sent the messengers out by another way, a move that not only saved their lives, but played a pivotal role in the broader plan of God. In our own lives, we may face unexpected challenges or detours, but like Rahab, we can trust that there is a greater purpose guiding our path. Embracing this belief empowers us to stay resilient during difficult times and seek the silver linings amidst adversity. In every season of our lives, Rahab's story encourages us to break free from the chains of our past, embrace our potential for good, and trust in God's purpose for our lives. It reminds us that our actions have the power to shape our future and influence the lives of those around us positively. Let us draw inspiration for Rahab's journey and strive to be agents of change, compassion, and faith in our families, church, and communities. Gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful emotion that can transform our lives and uplift our spirits. In the midst of our busy and often challenging daily routines, finding gratitude may seem elusive. But today's scripture reminds us of a profound way to cultivate gratitude through our actions. From this inspiring narrative, we can extract valuable insights on how to actively find gratitude in our own lives. When we choose to help, support, and uplift those around us, we begin to realize the impact we have on their lives. Small acts of kindness not only foster a sense of appreciation for what we have, but also cultivates a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness we share. Gratitude can also be found by recognizing our own journey of redemption and growth. Take a moment today to acknowledge your progress, no matter how small, and be grateful for the opportunities to learn, change, and evolve. As you go through today, take time to reflect on gratitude and consider these questions. How can I incorporate acts of kindness into my daily life? Think of simple ways to make a positive impact on others, like offering a genuine compliment, lending a helping hand, or simply being present to listen when someone needs it. What areas of your life have you experienced growth and redemption? Reflect on the challenges you've overcome and the progress you've made, no matter how far you still have to go. Embrace the journey and be grateful for the opportunity to learn and improve. The story of Rahab reminds us that gratitude is not just a passive feeling. It can be actively cultivated through our actions. By embracing kindness and recognizing our own growth, we can find gratitude in the smallest moments and create a more fulfilling and appreciative outlook on life. 
today's prayer. Lord, you use the simple, the broken, the sinful to bring hope and the line of redemption to the world. Lord, strengthen me, grant me wisdom, and use me for your plans and purposes for my life, bringing your will in heaven here to earth. Amen.